So if you go over to the Lego Ideas website, you can see tons of awesome creations that people have submitted in hopes that one day their awesome set idea becomes an actual real Lego set. I love that Lego does this. It's been really good. They've done it in other fashions. You know, it was Lego Casso before it was Lego Ideas. Before that, they had Lego Factory. They had the My Own Train series. And there have been other instances where people have got to name a set or contribute some other way to it. This channel is about Lego. My name's Joseph. Channel's Brigzar. If you like Lego, be sure to subscribe to this channel. We talk about all kinds of Lego-related things. I like to show you old stuff because I'm a fan of old Lego or a fool. And one of the things in researching things for this channel, I do come across weird and unusual items, which I like. Now, it is well known that there are some Lego sets that were designed by actual Lego designers that never made it into production. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about some of the top sets that were actually designed, actually had a set number, some even had boxes, some may actually have been produced, but never sold to the public. These are unreleased items. And there's a couple of different resources that I use to pick these up. One is the Brickset inventory. There's many, many, many sets listed on Brickset. And also on Bricklink, there is a section there for unreleased items. So we're going to go through some of them. I picked out some of my favorites. And we're not going to discuss in this video things uh, that may or may not have had a set number. I didn't dig too deeply in it, but there's some really cool concepts that they came up with. Themes like there was a, a western city that was kind of even bigger than the um, the castle town plan that they did. This is more uh, western. We're not going to consider that. There's also a hospital that appeared in a Lego Ideas book, and Andy Bell at Brick Fair actually used that hospital design in when he was doing all the sets that uh, produced from 1978 through the 80s, but I'm not going to include that one. So let's get to some of the ones that actually had set numbers. And we'll start off with the Scala. Now, I, I don't know if it's Scala or Scala. It doesn't really matter. The thing's been discontinued, but they... One thing I do like is ice cream. <laughs> so I've collected ice cream sets, whether it be in Belleville, it's, it, whether it be in Paradisa, whatever theme, even friends. And Scala had a set, set 3246, the ice cream shop. But there was another set, very similar. In fact, I think it's the same set. It was set 3245, the ice cream parlor. <laughs> So these were two sets that were designed. There's images. There's set number assigned to them. Never released to the public. And that was in 1998. So those are the first ones we're looking at. Uh, the next one is a smaller set. Now, again, I'm not considering all the unreleased items. Uh, there are actually some sets that maybe to you might be cooler. Uh, but these are ones that are cool to me. And this is one of them. Even though it's a small one, I collect dinosaurs. <laughs> And this is set 7605. It's the dinosaur, little stegosaurus looking thing. I think that's the right type of dinosaur. I don't know. You tell me in the comments below. But 7605, 2006, never released. And everybody's favorite theme to love, to hate, to love. Galador. I don't even know what this thing is. <laughs> All right. It's set 8322, Mokar. M O K A R R. I kind of wish this thing was released because it's got a little bit of a shark vibe to it to me, but I don't know. It's This may actually have been the worst design Galador set, which is pretty sad, but it's Mokar, 2002 Galador set. All right, now the next one on our list is a, is a Duplo set, and of course you know if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know I still collect Duplo. I like some of the weird things in Duplo. I don't collect everything Duplo, like trains, fire stations, some specialty items. And this is one of those specialty ones, and I wish I could have gotten this. And I, I know why it probably never was released, but it's set 2927, the Duplo house with CD-ROM. <laughs> I think they got this just in time for CD-ROMs to be on the way out. I I didn't look up, I forgot what year this set was designed. <laughs> but it, 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 there's a little cord you can see in the picture going to, I guess, a little 
a CD player to play the CD-ROM, and I don't know if this thing has sounds, uh, but I'm sure this one was not very cost-effective, and it makes me think of some of the modern sets. It's like there's a push in the modern sets to go to more digital thing, because digital seems to be where everything's at. I kind of like Lego staying with just being Lego, but I think this would have been a neat novelty item if it had ever been released, but it never was. All right, next on the list is a, another mini set. This is set 7796. It's the Creator Beach Home, and this looks like a smaller representation of a Lego Beach House Creator set. And I like the idea of making micro-sized versions of some of the bigger sets, and I wish they had done, would do it more. They still do it with some sets, but this was one in 2008 that never made it to stores. And here's another mini build. Now, this is a mini snow speeder. It, it, to me, it doesn't look like a lot of the other snow speeders. This was from 2008, set 8029, mini snow speeder. And again, I'm, go I'm going for sets that weren't released that actually have set numbers here. Here is one that is probably would have been released, but the whole games theme failed. It I just don't think people want to play board games with Lego pieces. I think it was, a, in concept, it was a good idea, but all of the Lego games in this style here, where you had to build the game and play it, it just failed. But I guarantee you, if this one, if, I wish this one had been released earlier in there, I think people would have bought it just for the collectability. It is set 3868 Phineas and Ferb. Oh my goodness, that was a really good cartoon, Phineas and Ferb. And no micro-scale minifigures in here or anything. I think that would have made it even better. But Phineas and Ferb set 3868. This technically would fall under gear and not sets, but still would have been a cool one. All right, this is one that Maniac for Bricks likes. And I think he actually has this because you can... A lot of these sets you can actually make because they all, they all have common pieces. The Loader Dozer <laughs> set 4959 from the Rock Raiders theme. That's one of them uh, that you can make. Now this is probably, I'm getting, as we get down the list, we're getting to some of my more, more of my favorite ones. <laughs> so here, the last three are my three favorites. All right, this is set 1526. It's a space value pack, and I guess this would have been part of a pack that had other sets. Might have had a town set with it. I'm not really sure, but it was never released, so we'll never know. But this was actually pretty decent sized, small, <laughs> am I being... Well, you know, you know what I mean. It's, it's not a teeny tiny set like some of the others I've had in here. It was actually a good size for a space set, a medium sized space set. Maybe that's what I meant. So that was five, one five two six, and that was all the way back in nineteen eighty six. And I think this is the oldest unreleased set on my list. All right, number two on the list, and this is one I was watching either Beyond the Brick or Zasa Numakin. But I, I can't say his name. He's in Germany. He's a really funny YouTuber. Uh, I, they were looking for this set. I think it was set. 1375 it's the lego studios wrestling scene i think they were thinking maybe a boxed copy ended up in the vault but i don't think they found it because i i don't know that this actually ever became in a box like set 1526 that we just did they actually there is a box but it never made it to stores but the wrestling scene why is this not been done in lego even with you know this is what you need, or did they do it with the newer ones? I can't remember, but yeah, this was um, <laughs> the wrestling scene from the studios theme of Spider-Man, set 1375, 2002. All right, number one, this is the one that uh, we want to try to make. It's kind of hard because the images aren't that good, but this is the one that is the Lego Island. I think it's what the basis for this set is. It's set 6500 Holiday Village. What a large set this was from 1996 if it had ever been released. But this is the one that I would like to have seen to be made into a set. So that's some of my favorites. Uh, there are actually over 60 or there might be maybe 70 different sets if you go between BrickLink and and Brick said I didn't total it all up. But there's a lot of other sets out there. And then there's even some that are not on this list uh, that were in concept art and didn't have a number or con even pictures of these things. So let me know what you think about my list and are there other things that you know about that weren't released that you would have liked to have seen to be made into a set. So that is my list of my favorite 
never released Lego sets. See you in the next video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. I'm going to go. Catch you later. Page and you look at all the great ideas. <clears throat> and their mock is something that people can buy and you get a little commission. It's a really great idea. Lego ideas. Who just emailed me?